Known the movie worldwide as the master of horror, legendary director and former Bowling Green resident John Carpenter made an appearance at the Warren County Haunted Asylum this past week in an effort to raise money for cancer research. Well, I'm just delighted to be here uh, because I really think this is an incredible uh, haunted house ride here. And any day that I can be a part of something that scares people for a charitable organization is a happy day for me. So what scares the master of horror? The same thing that scares everybody, okay? All human beings are frightened of the same things. It's a terrible answer, but it's the truth. Well, I'm afraid of snakes. Are you afraid of snakes? Eh, not so much. Well, maybe not all humans are afraid of the same things, but what most horror fans are afraid of is the fact that Carpenter's classic films are being remade but the master of horror has a unique outlook on the remake process. Uh, I think it's great, especially when they pay me. <laughs> My entire life I've wanted to find a way to do nothing and make money, and this is the best way. Most fans know John Carpenter's work from his legendary films like Halloween and Escape from New York, but these days, Carpenter is also involved in the world of comic books. John Carpenter's Asylum is a comic book that's just starting to come out we are appearing in the Long Beach Comic Con uh, to sort of push and launch it. And it's a, it, it's, it's a story that takes place in Los Angeles about good and evil and demons. And, and it's a lot of fun to work on. A whole different area for me than movies. Would that be something he'd consider adapting to film? You never know. Never say never in this business. Fans will also be happy to learn that after some time off from the big screen, Carpenter is hard at work on some brand new projects. I have several projects I'm working on right now, but I have to keep them all secret. The Academy Award winner was thrilled to learn about the brand new film program at Western Kentucky University, the same school that he attended in the 60s. I'm delighted about this film program. I think it's really important. And I think if, if students, kids love cinema, if love movies enough, and that doesn't matter what Hollywood's like. Hollywood's a treacherous place. And you have to be a survivor to make it there. What does Carpenter consider his key to success after a long career in this treacherous business? Luck. Well, there you have it. Luck. And, well, we're sure talent played a part, too. For WBKO.com, I'm Corey Fryer.